Every day, online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit CyberTipline.com. And we're back again. We thank you for staying tuned. We're talking to Nicole. We're talking to Pastor Smith. You got something you want? You, want, or you got your no, question? No, I just right? emphasize voting on Saturday. Okay. No, no, no more that. new information? Uh, not right now. Okay, It'll okay. I, I don't want to steal all the questions from no, you. No, so no, if you no, had no, a question no. for Nicole. Well, basically, I think she said it already, but I want to go in depth because we know and realize that uh, you're from here, hometown. I am. Hometown. So tell us your background as far as um, school, high school, college, and things like that. Um, I went to Epiphany. Okay. Yeah, very much in the neighborhood. My grandmother was, um, she, she uh, worked in the cafeteria, mm -hmm. so I would always get my special brownies, which made my friends kind of <laughs> upset. I used to say, Mama, don't give me this huge, big brownie. In front and of everybody. Well, I didn't eat nuts. I was always special. Oh, okay. Okay, so I didn't eat nuts, so she wanted me to have it, so she would make sure that mine was in foil. You know, I love her to death. But anyways, um, she didn't care what I, my friends thought of anybody else. But anyway, so then I went on to... Um, after Epiphany, I went to Seton Academy, mm -hmm. um, and after Seton, um, I went on to um, UNO. First, I went to Our Lady of Holy Cross, mm -hmm. then I went to um, UNO, and after that, I went and thought about, I wanted to do some more writing. You know, my plan still, actually, I was going to say that after it, my plan actually is um, I want to incorporate a workshop in my schedule, I know. But if I was thinking like maybe on a Saturday, mm -hmm. one day a week, I want to, young writers. That's good. You know, and that's something I, I was hoping to um, eventually, um, I have some funding for it, so I'm, I'm pushing that for uh, November, I'm hoping. Good. What's your age group? Actually, it's going to be, I'm hoping like six, grade up into high school because that's when you really that's when I started really being creative yeah, yeah. you have because you know I, I I have a few students I work with and they have these great ideas and I said I said have you copyrighted that mm. you know they said oh Miss Nicole you're gonna take my stuff I said no 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 I just asked it. <laughs> but they have some ideas I mean we just like rappers mm -hmm. I mean I might not listen to all of the music but, you but if you to listen the to lyric, the words these the people lyric. are genius yeah, yeah. But I just think they're not being implement it right. I think they're not maybe having the right shadow. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if we as leaders and real, you know, our people of the community really get involved, I mean, and really lead these people to the right direction, they would just well, be out of sight. They speak to a social class that maybe that we w won't uh, acknowledge mm -hmm. or accept, but there's, believe it or not, some of, some of their sayings are political as well as... Very uh, much so. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's not just it's talking about the lyrics of uh, sexuality as well. They, they, they talk about some things, and, you know, so, sometimes, um, from a biblical standpoint, of course, I, I, I say, <coughs> if they can change the lyrics mm -hmm. and, and, and change the tone, okay, there's a, the, the realism is there, but then you should also change it to be positive. Because if it's negative all the time, you depress people. Not, True, not. but let's look at it from a different standpoint. I'm not going to name any one of them. I'm just going to say this one. I've, I've thought about it, you know, and um, I, I used to write, um, and I was actually published with the, um, an education um, journal. Uh, I believe it was in, actually it was in Washington. And this is when I understood it. There was a rapper out there, and I would. W my job was to read it and go through it. Mm -hmm. And I, when I interviewed that person, he basically everything you just said. Because I, I, I was saying, well, maybe you can do this, and maybe you could do that. But if I do that, he said, if I do that, you you really believe that I believe at the end of my road that I'm going to go into this nice, pretty house with this white fence around it. He said, that would be a make-believe story. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, that's not my way. He said, my way is I look at the drug deal in my neighborhood and I see that he's flashy. I see that he has these nice cars. He has food to feed his family. He said, so if I can, you know, that's who my, that's who my role models are. You know, he said, show me someone, you know, that, that's being successful coming from my neighborhood and lives in my neighborhood. And so then I just explained, I said, well, I believe you're a great writer. I said, and that's not just talk. I believe you, you, you know, 
I have co-workers of mine, I would say, where I was working, that couldn't put together something like this, you know? And, and I told them that. I said, not where I am now. I'm saying previously, you know? My, my crew is polished. And, um, All right. She knows how to yeah, she's, she's but, uh, and it's baby. true. Yeah. Yeah. Being honest with you guys. But the, a lot of these rappers, I mean, I could even speak of, you know, I work out a lot. That's my focus. I get a lot of my, my ideas when I'm writing. Um, when I'm, you know, at the gym on my elliptical and I listen to a lot of rappers then, you know, that's when you have to feel pumped up and you got to have all of this going on, adrenaline. And I listen to Lil Wayne's, um, mm -hmm. a few of his songs and some of it, no, I really can't listen to a lot of it. I'm not going to pretend, <laughs> but there are some of it that, that is beyond, um, Artistic. It, it, it's truly a person like Lil Wayne for, and I know some people have they write for him, but a lot of it comes from him. Mm -hmm. It comes from his him his his depth and listen listening to that. If he didn't get maybe a few of the, you know, um, maybe if he didn't get a few of uh, you know people to guide him, and I, I think a lot of it's luck. We have a lot of rappers out here that are extremely talented, but they don't get. The help. The good breaks. It's breaks. Just mm -hmm. to be an NBA star is a breaks. You know how yeah. many people out there are, are talented? talented? Mm -hmm. That's you true. know, it, it, you know, and luck sometimes doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. So I just think that you know, if we, you know, we must incorporate more creative ideas and outlets for our young people. We can't blame them anymore. I. That's my position. Coming from Houston or California or anyway, you see how organizations are surviving and functioning. And, you know, that's what happened. As a writer, I would sit on my little bench in a park and see all of these things. I see this this um, place in Houston um, where for my kids, um, they, ha they have a whole community that for working moms, I didn't get off at three o'clock. I'm like, well, what do you do? Like the public schools here, what do you do? You don't want your kids walking home. They have an organization that is a community center that the bus actually picks up your child from school, brings them there, and they're doing football and basketball and playing and basically like a, um, a basketball court. And they serve snacks. Why can't we have that here? Oh, Whoa. I thought that was it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I'm he's, sorry. I'm just like, what you thinking? He's really? Not, no, oh, no, please. No. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> don't get me wrong. That's one thing I envision as well as pastor, as a community leader, because I'm very active in my community. And that's everything. great. Uh, that's one thing we as pastors envision. I was about to talk to we, some of that, we, address, we address that envision. issue of, of what you say. Yeah, yeah, th th there are some things that, that uh, some of our churches, some of our pastors are engaged in and that we do offer after school tutorial. Uh, not only, safe not only uh, to, yeah, safe havens. We we, we do uh, field trips. Our, our church is doing a Christian battalion with young boys and and taking them to uh, Alabama, Atlanta, uh, you know, places that that uh, that they can learn not only history but they can see some of the history and. Um, yeah, it, it, it takes a whole community. I, I, maybe Houston is, is, is fast-tracked in that they, they do it because it's a bigger city. Of course. And then the, the, the whole thing about it is, as writers, we have to write the whole script. Because if we allow the, the same script to be uh, put in the minds of, 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 of our young people, that's why some of the negative writing of, 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 right. of, of the rappers, you know, because they, they, they are romanticizing and uh, glamorize some of the, uh, the housing projects. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and in, in, in one way we can say, well, that sounds bad because it's a housing project. But for them, it, it's, it's a home. It. It's, it's a, home. a neighborhood. It's, it, it's something that they experience and, and they say, hey, that's, that's, that's a deep experience. That, that, that's, that made me what I am today because I, I got a, we got, we got some well-known uh, rappers that came out of right. the housing projects, right. you know, and some of their talents. Uh, who, who is a masterpiece? Mm -hmm. No longer lives in the housing project, but what is he now? You know, um, he 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 he's really a he's an polished. He's retired from the rap. He's got it. Yeah, you know, I think he, he he's he's one that showed his story, and and he um, is I think someone that young people should look to aspire to. I mean, Thank he's you. in the film. He's in the he film. He has his children in his film. Children, yeah. I mean, it's and not it's saying. no longer that small entity of just being a rapper, a local right, rapper. I mean, right. he's elevated his position, his children, his family, his mm -hmm. dynasty. Right. You know, well, and so I think that that's pretty I, I great. I think the other interest is they use it as a means of that success to go somewhere right. else. Right. Because uh, Will Smith started off as a rapper. rapper. That's right. I oh, I think rap music is, I think, 
my position has been um, always really that rap music we can all complain or you know speak highly of. I, I'm ver very versatile. So I, li I can listen to rap. I can listen to country, um, gospel. I mean, I listen to probably everything, um, you know, because I'm listening for something. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm listening. I'm being entertained. But I think rap music kind of fostered a relationship between the the ill wills and the the drama with the black and white prejudice and and the the negative dialogue that used to exist. So that maybe exists you know, on a small level, but I think rap music kind of, you know, brought that, brought the dialogue back between, you know, African Americans and, and whites and, and mm -hmm. all of the, the ill wills that, that existed. So I think that it just kind of opened up the conversation. So it's uh, almost like it's gone full circle. Full circle. Full, go ahead. Full circle. Oh, well, two things, since you pick it, I'm going to pick it back on that. And of course we do know that majority of rap is bought by non-blacks, white people. You know? Exactly. Y'all in the entertainment field, that's yeah, why y'all know this. <laughs> but I want to ask you a personal question. Yes. Yes, it's a personal question. Of course. Okay, people here we go. Watch him, yeah. I know. I wanted to know when you sit on that bench and write those short stories or have those thoughts, I'm a digital person. Mm -hmm. And um, I take out my trusted little digital recorder. But do you deal with the digital side or do you do with the analog and write it? I mean, I'm how do you thoughts? I'm actually both. Actually, it's funny you said that. Um, I have a pink recorder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's handheld and I normally have it in my pocket uh -huh. somewhere. And because maybe I'm not, uh, maybe I'm somewhere and I can't write at that moment. Mm -hmm. So I hurry up and have that thought because that thought might leave that me come back until exactly. two years. You know, because that. normally that one thought will expound on so many different things, yeah. you know. Um, I used to write, uh, like I said, the book encompasses a lot. My children, I have twins and a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, my twins, one, uh, they, have some, they had some issues, and one of them actually have Asperger's, mm -hmm. which is a form of autism, and it was not as well known. You know, so there were many issues that involved that since really they were born. They had to go through occupational therapy, couldn't shoot. I got to cut you. We got to put you back on. I got to get you back on. <laughs> we're we're, we're coming to the gone. end of the show. That it, I, I know you thought we were talking a, a long time, but it's very oh, short. What has the time gone? I know. But, but we, we really want to get you back, and we want, want, want you to talk about the success of the book, but we, we got to cut it. Uh, again, we, we thank God for Nico. We thank God for uh, Reverend Smith. We, we thank God for you that uh, um, turn on your TV and watches, and hopefully we, we'll be giving you more and more information. I always say go to a church of your choice and worship the Lord. You invited to come out to uh, True Love Missionary Baptist Church, 2710 Phillips Street. Uh, we just have regular service uh, this Sunday, 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning. And as uh, Reverend Smith has said, I'll be preaching uh, the Reverend Randy L. Daniels' uh, pastor's anniversary at, at 11 a.m. So come out and celebrate with us. Uh, we just say God bless you and God keep you until next time. God bless you.